and welcome to our new weekly series where we will take you through the revolutionary AI features enabled on the new AI PCs powered by the latest Intel Core Ultra processors. Every week we will discuss one new skill you can learn to be more creative and productive and enhance your entertainment. This is the fourth video in the series and today we will be taking a closer look at image generation on an AI PC. When talking about AI, you can't ignore an Intel Core ultra-powered laptop like the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. To learn more about how Intel's new processors enables AI, you should check out our previous videos where we covered the topic in depth. You will find the link to the same in the description. So let's get right to it and talk about the generative AI features that make designers' lives much simpler. Apps like GIMP and Blender now have the option to use generative AI to create images and textures from scratch. But can it really create anything? Let's find out. Let's open GIMP on this laptop. Note that we have already installed the Stable Diffusion plugin on this device. Click on AI in the top menu and from the drop-down, select Stable Hold. In the pop-up, select the prompt option and type Cat Eating Cheese. Now GIMP will generate this image using the power of AI. Looks pretty good. Now let's tweak this a little bit. Let's follow the same steps as before, but change the prompt to cat eating cheese in a park. And there you have it. Generative AI has done its thing and we now have a pretty cool image to work with. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Generative AI can also be used to create music from scratch using software like Audacity. All you need to do is open the Audacity app and then click on the Generate drop-down. Then click on Open Vino Music Generation AI plugin. In the new window, you can choose the length of the audio clip and there is a space for you to type in a prompt for generating music. Let's type in 80s Bollywood pop. And in a few moments, the AI will generate the music for you. This is a simple and easy way to obtain royalty-free music that creators can use for their videos. To achieve all this, the Intel Core Ultra processor leverages the strengths of the CPU, GPU and NPU. The NPU helps with complex AI calculations. The CPU manages tasks while the GPU handles parallel processing and rendering. Altogether, this allows the Intel Core Ultra-powered Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 to efficiently generate these images and music. So what exactly is inside this machine? Let's find out. Powering the laptop is an Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor. It offers 16 cores and 22 threads of performance and a max clock speed of 4.8 GHz, enabling it to take on pretty much any task. As if that wasn't enough, the laptop also offers 16 GB LPDDR5X RAM with 1 TB of storage. This should ensure things remain smooth and speedy. And the display? Well, the laptop features an immersive 16-inch Dynamic AMOLED 2X panel with a WQXGA Plus resolution. It promises crisp details, vivid colors, and deep blacks. It should be noted that this display features a 360-degree hinge, which allows it to flip all the way around. So your laptop can be used as a tablet if needed. This allows consumers to directly interact with the touchscreen via a stylus for a more intuitive experience. All this makes the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 an excellent option for graphic designers. But that's not all. This is an Intel Evo certified laptop. So users get to enjoy a multitude of benefits such as instant wake, long battery life and more. There is also Intel Unison that allows users to pair their smartphone and laptop. Aside from calls and notifications on your laptop, it also allows for file transfer between the devices. So users can transfer their creations to their phones and share them with the world. To learn more about these features and their offerings, watch the first video in the series. The link is in the description. So we not only check out some of the features of Intel Evo laptops, but also take a look at what the new Intel Core Ultra processors have to offer. Once again, let me remind you, this video is a part of a series where we take a look at the many ways AI can help users in an attempt to demystify AI. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to catch all the episodes. Till then, thank you for joining us and we will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now. This is me, Samir, signing off.